they got themselves in all sorts of trouble. And here in a bit of space is uh, Hansen. Oh, it's a good-looking ball to Santos, and now Eklund shoots. Oh, dear! It's gone through Zareli, and it's into a goal down. Goodness me, that now he has been absolutely outstanding all season. We gave him a big build-up, and suddenly an absolute bloomer. Well, I mean, it was a good strike. We mentioned that Eklund, you know, it was not back. Look, Alvaro Santos got between the three, but it's a straightforward shot. He's, he's got his hands and his body there, and he's gone straight through the hands. Good little knockback by Santos, left footer, but it should be a comfortable save. And, well, total frustration. I, I know it's blustery, but there's no excuse for that one. What a disastrous start for Sereni and for Ipswich there. A goal behind now, then on the night and on aggregate. We can't have extra time now. Coming again in the penalty area, which the Spanish referee is trying to sort out. Richard Naylor is involved. supporters they are in charge in the tie George Burley giving it the really big applause from the touchline Venus here takes the free kick and a half a touch on and the volley there by Horidison has caught Helsingberg absolutely cold the goalkeeper going to his right sees it go in the top corner and Ipswich Town have equalized 24 minutes into the second half. Well, it was a great strike. Mark Green is, is, delivers his set pieces superbly. A lot of pace. And certainly once it hit the left foot of Horidas, so although he just can, you know, effective as a centre back, but has done well since they switched to the back four, got forward as a left back, and of course has got the vital equaliser. Horidas is again looking for a position here from the cross. Marcus Stewart goes in first. Marcus Stewart. 2-1 Ipswich, good header. What a comeback. Ten minutes from the end, Ipswich Town go 2-1 up on the night and in the tie, and Marcus Stewart with the header from another precise free kick by Mark Venus. What a delivery, what a good header, Trevor. It's the quality of the cross that makes it into the near post. He gets in front of the defender, keeper rooted to his line. And for once, Van Anderson didn't come. It's a six-yard box cross. I think he's just worried about the pace that Venus knocks them in. But Marcus Stewart got away from his marker. He got a couple of headers against Southampton recently, and there's nothing better for an astrop appearances. But in many ways, it'll be a sad way to go out because his team are about to be eliminated from the UEFA Cup. Here's Marcus Stewart to make certain, perhaps, for Ipswich. Oh, yes, he has. Beautifully taken. And a consummate second-half performance by Ipswich Town. Two minutes from the end. Stewart's second goal. Ipswich is third. And George Burley's frowning expression of the first half gives way to a wide smile after the way his team have responded in the second, Trevor. Well, you just got to hold your hands up and say, well done, because they're, you know, they're, they're forming the Premiership, has been poor, they didn't play well the opening half an hour, they looked to be struggling, and then in the second half, they've just got better and better, they had a spell of pressure, missed a couple of chances, could have frustrated them, they got the first one, and the, the, the confidence has returned, Stewart's got a couple of goals, I think key men at the back have been Bramble, Venus, Aridas, and they've wanted the ball, they've surged forward, and they've got their side back into it, and this could be now the platform to pick up on their Premiership form. I believe that too. Tommy Miller has come on, by the way, the uh, lad who was in, which is a junior, and then went, was rejected and went to Hartlepool, where he was signed for over a million pounds in the summer. He's on 